So the mouse market has been a little stale for me lately, and I've been kind of bored with recent releases, but finally someone decided to step out of the comfort zone of cloning the same mouse over and over and release something that's actually different and innovative. And this is it, the Extrify M8. And this is probably the most unique and innovative mouse of 2022. And guess what? I have two copies of this mouse and I'm gonna be giving away a brand new copy on Twitter. So if you want a chance to win, go follow me on Twitter at shoutoutdelete and also make sure you're subscribed here on YouTube. Now this isn't the first time we've seen Extrify branch out a little and try something that's very different. They paired up with Rocket Jump Ninja before and created the MZ-1. That had a very unique shape and it turned out to be a big hit. Now like many of you, I had seen the pictures of the M8 online, but when I got it out of the box, it was much smaller than I expected and also a little nicer looking in person than the pictures online. But hold up, wait a minute, what exactly is this? Could that be the charging port on the back right side of the mouse? Yes, that's exactly what it is. Since the buttons are so damn low on this mouse, they had to move the charging port from the front of the mouse to the back right. When I first saw this, I was really skeptical. I didn't think it'd feel very good to play with, but I was wrong. Playing with the mouse plugged in feels completely natural, and as long as I have the cable off to my right, it was good to go. This is what I'm talking about. This is innovation. Other companies are either scared to make moves like this, or they just don't know how to. Clearly, Extrify isn't scared to try new things, and I think it's awesome. The cable here is 1.8 millimeters long, it's USB Type-C, and it's very high quality, and like I said, I didn't feel it at all while playing with it plugged in. It was great. Now let's take a look at the dimensions. It's 118 millimeters long, 38.5 millimeters high in the middle of the mouse, and it's 59 millimeters wide at the grip. And the shape instantly stands out as you pick it up. The sides are slightly contoured and the highest point is in the middle of the mouse. And so far that's not too crazy, but then we take a look at the front of the mouse from the side. The front slope is dramatically steep and it doesn't feel like anything else I've ever tried. I think with the front of the mouse being so steep, it really caters to claw and palm grip. Fingertip grip can work, but it really suits those other grips best. The sides of the mouse are extremely comfortable. My thumb, ring finger, and pinky all feel so comfy on here, and it's super easy to maneuver the mouse no matter how I hold it. And from the very beginning, when I put my hand on this mouse, it just instantly felt so natural. Another thing which really stood out was how good the build quality was. It feels extremely solid and well made in the hand. There's absolutely no creaking, flexing, or rattling which is great to see on a mouse that only weighs 55 grams. And also the 55 grams is perfectly balanced on this mouse. Also the coating is fantastic. It's extremely grippy while gaming and the warmer my hand gets, the more grip I have. It doesn't matter if my hands are a little sweaty or completely dry, the grip stays great no matter what. And two of my biggest complaints with Extrify's previous mice were that they had extremely slick coatings and that their mice had holes in them. Well, both of those issues have been fixed with this mouse and it's a very welcome change. Personally, I don't need to put grips on this mouse but of course your mileage may vary as everyone's hands, grips, and preferences all vary, but you know, so far for me, it's been great. Now, there's no RGB here. This mouse is focused on in-game performance and low weight. It's got a really clean aesthetic and eventually it's gonna be available in all of these colors. Another thing that's great is Extrify decided to get rid of the smaller feet like they had on their previous mice, and they went with a bigger style of foot, which is more like a Zowie style. And personally, I think that's a great change. These feet are soft, they're pretty fast and smooth. The edges are rounded, and I don't think there's any need to replace these feet on this mouse. For most people, they're gonna do just fine. Also on the bottom of the mouse, we have the settings for debounce time, polling rate, CPI, and the power on and off switch. Personally, I love not having to run software in the background for my mouse. It's really easy to set this mouse up how you want it, and the instructions are clear and concise. Now, extra fight splurged a little bit and went with the top of the line sensor. They went with a 3395, which can do 400 to 26,000 DPI. It's got a 1000 Hertz polling rate, and it can do up to 650 IPS. And I couldn't feel any issues regarding the sensor's performance or the wireless tech inside the mouse. And also this mouse is rated for 75 hours of battery life, so it's not like insane or anything, but it's definitely more than adequate. All of the buttons feel very high quality on my copy. Buttons 1 and 2 do have a little bit of pre and post travel on them, but it's nothing to worry about, no big deal. The switches here are K8.0s, and the implementation feels very solid to me. Both of my side buttons have a touch of pre and post travel, but nothing to be concerned about, and I like the placement and size of the buttons, and overall, I think they feel really good. The scroll here feels really good to me. It has nice, solid steps, and you can easily fill each individual step in game. But when you're browsing the web, you can scroll really smoothly up and down, and it feels very nice and premium. And overall, the scroll wheel and all the buttons on this mouse are fantastic.
Now gaming on this mouse so far has been great. It's lightweight and it's easy to flick around in game. And with the smooth feet, tracking and micro adjustments feel great. All the buttons feel solid and the sensor is really responsive. And with the great grip that I get from the coating, it just feels like I have a lot of control over this mouse in game. So the price here is $99, and I think you're getting a lot of performance and value for just 99 bucks. It's obvious that Extrafy is listening to the community and implementing the feedback they get from their customers. And I think this is a great example of how companies should listen and keep pushing the envelope of what's normal. As always, if you guys have any questions, just drop me a comment down below and I'll try to get to it when I can. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.